What is good guys and girls? This is the second part. I'm going to go ahead and talk about the scenes, the sources, and the mixer, as well as a little bit more options that you would want to know and change for the streaming part. In the next part, or the last part, we're going to talk about designing and showing the design stuff. Scenes is going to be, as you see right here, changes. I'm not even showing the Elgato here, there, there. This is going to change different scenes or sceneries, if you know what that word is. For example, in EVO, you see Smash Bros. tournaments. It pans from or it shows one guy and then it fades out to the gameplay or something. Those are scenes. Those are different type of windows. And then it could like pan to the commentaries, you know, faces. Those are scenes. Next up, there is the sources. The sources is going to be the meat and the bones. So the Elgato capture card, if we hide that, unhide it my face if I hide it unhide it there we go those are the sources it's gonna be the microphone the display capture everything that's in here for the scene is going to be what you'll need to you know have and the last thing here we have is a mixer so notice my voice here if I hit mute like that and same thing with this capture card right now there is no sound if I press home And I'll mute that just for the sake of purpose. Yeah. But yeah, lastly, we have the mixer here. There's a advanced mixer properties, which um, you probably can't see that well. There you go. I'll talk about that later when I get to it. Let me just go here. It's a little bit cleaner. To add a source, you go here to this plus button. You click it, and then it'll open up this window. And depending on what you'll need, you'll add. So audio input, that's for your microphone. Um, display capture that's for your PC computer so if you're doing like the Pokemon live on a website battle thing trading card game that's all on the desktop you need that video capture device this is your webcam as you see here as well as capture card so if I click here you can see it's adding it's asking for add an existing source it will be essential to do this if you want to do for your webcam because that way it will not turn it off and it put it on and so forth Add a new source instead if you want to add a new source, but for me, I'm going to add the Elgato. There you go. So the Elgato is in here and it is muted, and you can't see me anymore. So I'll put this right down here, for example. And if I go to this source, you can see it moves and it shifts everything over. So yeah, that's how you go. That's how you're going to add in the capture card. So yeah, I'm going to delete that. Yeah. As well as the alert box, by the way, if you go here, press the plus button, and it says it's essential to add the alert box. For those who don't know, the alert box is going to be something like this. So it says, oh, I just subscribed, or oh, I just donated $5. That's what the alert box is, is those awesome things. So, yeah, you can move that around if you want, so forth. All right, zombie, go away. A couple of things you should know. The webcam, when you have your webcam set, you want to double click it, go to configure video. And if you're using Logitech, you'll probably come up across these windows here. Camera control, turn that low life, uh, low life, <laughs> the low light compensation, turn it off. That's gonna enable like no lag in your camera. Cause if you have the light on, it's gonna try and like do some shit capture you. I have it set on 720, 1080, uh, 1280, 720. This is okay to be if you're using it in a 920, 1080, whatever. This is because this will enable the 60 FPS that you see right here. If I set it any higher, it will not have the 60 FPS. You could set it to 480 if you want a box, but for me, I like it like that. So there you go. Just put it in, there you go. You see me right there. And here's the mic. So if I go back to this Elgato part, this is going to be very, very, very very time consuming as well as essential to do you're going to want to time your stream so notice here on the elgato the game if i press right 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 left 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 you see there's a delay on there right 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 down up left 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 you're going to want to have that synchronized with the you know what you're doing you're talking about so because there is a delay on the elgato we're going to have to delay everything else that be in the microphone as well as my webcam. And yeah, it's not going to be an easy task and things might go bad here. So if things go bad, then my bad. So in order to do this, you right click your webcam, you go to filters and on the filters, I know it is pretty disgusting here. Let me mute 
this or do that and let me go ahead and small this up boom let me go to properties again and here is the window for this no filters applied click the plus button and there is going to be a drop down list you're going to want to look for a video delay async so there we go filter name video delay async cool now depending on the number you're going to have to play around and test out on stream or in recording i guess i don't know if it works out good for you i'm going to put 250 this is going to be 250 milliseconds i believe so there is going to be a delay when i talk as you probably could see right now see there's a delay don't mind that right now but the reason why i want that delay on is so that i could time this right so if i press right on the keyboard on the controller or left it'll match up with the elgato hopefully so let's try it So just a little bit more of a delay we need. So I'll go ahead and go to the right uh, webcam, right click, filter. I'm gonna change this number down to, let's say 300 maybe. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click done. And let's try it again. Yeah, it's still more of a delay. Um, Try it again. Let's try 500. So half a second. So you can see I'm pretty much. Ugh. I think that looks lined up to me. I can't. I don't know. I can't really tell. But you're gonna have to want to play around and see if it works out for you. So. Yeah, when I bite on the screen, when I see myself, there is a delay, by the way. I can't, you know, really see what I'm doing in real time anymore. Um, that's when the camera on the Elgato or the, the movement, the cursor on the Elgato on the switch, that's when it moves. Next thing you might see is weird that I'm talking and there is, uh, you know, it's not lining up with my face. Maybe if you notice that, yeah, it sucks, right? Um, there's a way to fix that. So remember, I set my filter, I set it on... 500 milliseconds if you can see down there let's try and do the same thing with uh the microphone by going here oh yeah you can't see me let me go ahead and just hide those you're gonna click this gear icon you're gonna look for your microphone which by the way i should have clicked down mix to mono hopefully you didn't hear me on one side the whole time but there's this thing here that says synchronize offset we're gonna want to set this to the same thing as the webcam in hopes that it does um, you know line up so yeah I'm not I'm not even sure myself if this lines up so I wouldn't be able to tell unless I close this video off and hear it which uh, let me let me try that so yeah, I just checked the recording and the audio does match up. By the way, I don't know if I could show you this easily, but if I take my hand, I take this mouse and I go all the way down, boom, do, down, up, down, up. Uh, hopefully that looked nice. If not, then ah oh, shit. Maybe if I go up here, down, up, down, up. Uh, yeah, maybe it looks nicely lined up for y'all. Yeah, there's a way to delay the visual as well. So if you go here, right click, go to filters, then on the filter, we go here and click the uh, plus button. We'll be able to add in a render delay. So that is going to be what we'll need. I'm going to hit cancel because we already got it. Um, that's what we're going to need for the delay for this. So notice that this is set on 500. That's because the same thing on my webcam. If I right click and go to filters, 
that's 500 as well as for my microphone I don't think I got it set on 500 do I oh yes I do I have it set on 500 as well so everything should go as good and you know the way you want it to look so if I go up here down up down it should all line up for you all right I think we are set with that though we have everything synchronized uh, so we could go on the Elgato and basically left 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 right 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 and it should go good so yeah that's the setup for the scene sources mixer as well as the synchronizing so cool in the last video I will show you how to design um, your layout for the shiny hunting as well as apply the counters so yeah thank you for watching hit thumbs up support the boy and yeah I'll see you in a second Peace.